23 days. Brand new Fox poll out this morning shows likely voters believe Hillary Clinton is a better role model for their children than Donald Trump. So with more people choosing Clinton as a good role model, our next guest went to Georgetown University to quiz all those knowledgeable college students about who they're voting for and why. Tabitha Phillips is a campus reform contributor and he joins us now with what he found. Georgetown, one of the best institutions in the country, right? Absolutely. Apparently not the best at knowing about both the candidates. Uh -oh. Usually when you say someone's a role model, you can point to a few accomplishments, examples of why that's the case. As you can see in this video, these students were not too sure on why they thought Hillary was Let's a good role see. model. Hmm. Between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, which candidate do you think you're more likely to support? Hillary Clinton, 100 percent. Hillary Clinton. Definitely Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Definitely Hillary. Is there like one accomplishment she had from her lifetime as a politician that sticks out to you most? Um, not particularly, just the fact that she's worked in government before. More so just the fact that she's a female. Being the first woman to like run for president. She's kind of like more to her political views to align with like what the majority of the country wants. Now, um, her opponents would call that flip-flopping. So, the, yeah, flip-flopping, wow. she's a female, that seems to be reason enough. And that she has held office before. Yeah, we've long known at Campus Reform that colleges are overwhelmingly liberal. And I think a lot of this is students feeling pressure from professors, administrators, and their peers to just go along with this liberal idea. And even if they don't know anything about a candidate, they want to, they're so afraid of being ostracized and being labeled a bigot or intolerant for supporting a Republican candidate that they just say they're a Democrat so that they don't get in trouble with professors and with their fellow students. And you're being fair and balanced. You're not leaving on the cutting room floor some really good responses about what an amazing Secretary of State she was? Absolutely not. We had one student who could name a single policy initiative that she'd done. I believe what was that? The Child Defense Fund during her time as a senator. Mm -hmm. Everyone else just stumbled through. A couple people brought up that she was a woman. But yes. again, this goes back to the fact that so many of these students are just saying they're supporting Hillary because she's not Donald Trump. Did you talk to anybody from the university, any professors, get any reaction to the students? We were anything? a little scared to talk to the professors <laughs> because we knew they'd probably ban us from coming back to campus uh, uh, because these schools are so uh, intent on clamping down yeah. on free thought and free discussion. They want just their opinions getting you out. You can only I'm talk still to stuck a student on the with fact, a minder I'm probably. still stuck on the fact that they have hammocks. Uh, he, he, he can't, can't get over the hammock. What, they have kids just hanging out in hammocks? In the, in the, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look. Maybe they should be doing more reading and keeping up on political elections than spending time in hammocks. You have that at uh, University of Pittsburgh. I'm going to hammocks? Amazon after the show. He's jealous yeah. of the hammock. Hammock sales about to spike on Amazon. On Amazon, I'm going to buy one for Tucker Carlson. He'll be back here. That's what 50 grand a year.